and also embrace it. You know, if you're accountable and you embrace it, then it won't let it won't bother. Four games under 500 at the All-Star break, and, and we get where they are now. Remember, and they just swept the Miami Marlins. On the other side, tonight, the San Francisco Jim San Francisco knows who he is. Guess what? They're starting. But he's off to a heck of his. And the New York Mets, they take the field, and they are hoping that David Peterson, who will be on the bump tonight, can lose the welcome, the warm welcomes in here. Um, one thing offensively, just to keep the churning going, uh, just been a plug, a spark plug in our lineup. Gabe Kopler is putting out there, and they're a little banged up. No Michael Conforto and no Mike Yastrzemski. But, of course, our for the first pitch on Sunday Night oh. Baseball, and Slater misses away. Behind Peterson, Beatty's at first base. Yeah. And that's in there. One ball, one strike in the outfield. Tawny fan. Good pitch there. Down to the zone. A swing and a miss for Slater. One and two. Fouls of play. Yeah. You know, Kapler will tell you about Slater, guys, that he's disciplined. Get the sense that Gabe Kapler's very content this year. He yeah. loves working with the staff. The coaches, he makes sure that everybody that's got a uniform, I mean, it almost feels little league-like. If you have a uniform, you're... Does have it. 3-2 and he missed. That is the stubborn, disciplined approach. And that's what as he took that pitch and made Peterson's job a little bit more difficult on that mound. So leadoff man is Morris. That's the strike. Outscored 59 to 20. Way inside to Flores. What he does really well is elevate. So if you're thinking Mets double. Gets the call. One ball, two strikes. Friday, Wilmer Flores. One, two, swing, and a miss, and Flores is gone. See, that's the pitch, not recognize it early, and by that time, a little too late, chases out of the first 30 RBI, and the first one misses away. Yeah. Well, Stu Sherwater calls the ball. And this one beaten into the ground. Beatty to second. McNeil to first in a double play. They did win their first game in July, and they're hoping that the lineup, which is brought to you by Iris Spring, will help get them to 2-0. and Slide into a... And that first pitch is in there for a strike at 93 miles an hour. 33 years old, signed a two-year deal with the... And he's been a starter and a reliever, and he jumps ahead quickly, 0-2. We may see that a lot tonight. Could go up and down. Nimmo swinging a miss, caught by Bailey, and there's one down on the strikeout. Here's Pham, who's been just terrific, and that first one misses. He's nine for 14 his last four games, and hope it continues. And he hits this one hard on the ground to Crawford. And Brandon's throw is off. Good conversation with Brandon about the mix of youth and veteran leadership. Good place as well. Now Lindor. First pitch is down to the New York Mets shortstop, who's up the middle as far as you can be. Casey Schmidt is your third baseman tonight. Haley. Oh. That one misses as well. Oh boy. And Lindor will take the walk. The polar bear, Pete Alonso. One of the fuck this power. No one won. He took a big hack at that. Couldn't keep his balance at the plate. Average of 100. Next one to Alonso, and he fouled that off. Chokes up just. 0-2, oh, and a line shot off the middle, but that's exactly where Estrada was playing, and Alonso. Sunday night, ESPN Sunday Night Baseball, and Pete Alonso has got a microphone on and an earpiece. Hey, Pete. And the first pitch misses. Hi, right, Pete. So, all-star game for you. What does that mean? I mean, it's it's really something that I'll, I'll very highly appreciate. All right, so selfishly, Pete, I'm sitting up here and I'm thinking, all right, Alonzo. So uh, I will be I will be participating in the uh, 2023 home run derby. Yeah, high five. Yeah, field, and um, I mean, it's going to be great competition. I think this one's going to be one to remember. Uh, it, sure, it sure could be, Pete. As Slind well, I'm uh, I'm keeping good on a promise uh, from when I was like 13 or 14 years old. So one of my uh, need to. Um, then I need to throw to you for one of them. If you do multiple, I'm like, okay, all right. So I'm, uh, I mean, it's just something I've always loved. To first underneath the glove of Lindor, but I mean, you're talking. 
No, but I mean, again, I put a bunch of hard work and uh, hard work in and, and stay focused. Right. They gave Bailey a hit. I was in seventh and eighth grade, so 13, 14 years old, and um, we had a, yeah, we, we had a. Oh, that pitch is just a little high to Matos, and that's called ball. Here in, in homers, and he broke, I think he was one RBI away, or he broke Preston Tucker. And that first pitch is in there for a strike at 93 miles an hour. 33 years old, signed a two-year deal with the... And he's been a starter and a reliever, and he jumps ahead quickly, 0-2. We may see that a lot tonight. Could go up and down. Nemo swing and a miss, caught by Bailey, and there's one down on the strikeout. Here's Pham, who's been just terrific, and that first one misses. He's 9 for 14 his last four games, and hope it continues. And he hits this one hard on the ground at Crawford. And Brandon's throw is off. Good conversation with Brandon about the mix of youth and veteran leadership. Good place as well. Now Lindor. First pitch is down to the New York Mets shortstop, who's been up the middle as far as you can be. Casey Schmidt is your third baseman tonight. Bailey. Oh. That one misses as well. Up oh, And the door will take the walk. The polar bear, Pete Alonso. One of the fuck this power. No one won. He took a big hack at that. Couldn't keep his balance at the plate. Average of 100. Next one to Alonzo, and he fouled that off. Chokes up just. 0-2 oh, and a line shot off the middle, but that's exactly where Estrada was playing. And Alonzo, Sunday night, ESPN Sunday Night Baseball, and Pete Alonzo has got a microphone on and an earpiece. Hey, Pete. And the first pitch misses. So I, Pete, so all-star game for you. What does that mean? I mean, it's it's really something that I'll, I'll very highly appreciate. All right, so selfishly, Pete, I'm sitting up here and I'm thinking, all right, Alonzo. So uh, I will be I will be participating in the uh, 2023 home run derby. Yeah, high five. Yes, and and um, I mean, it's going to be great competition. I think this one's going to be one to remember. Uh, it sure it sure could be, Pete. As Slim well, I'm uh, I'm keeping good on a promise uh, from when I was like 13 or 14 years old. So one of my uh, need to. Um, then I need to throw to you for one of them. If you do multiple, I'm like, okay, all right. So I'm, uh, I mean, it's just something I've always loved. To first underneath the glove of Lindor, but I mean, you're talking. No, but I mean, again, I put a bunch of hard work and uh, hard work in and, and stay focused. Right. They gave Bailey a hit. When I was in seventh and eighth grade, so 13, 14 years old. And um, we had a, yeah, we, we had a. Oh, that pitch is. Just a little high to Matos, and that's called ball. Here in, in homers, and he broke, I think he was one RBI away, or he broke Preston Tucker.